South Sudan's conflict is characterized by various armed groups fighting in different parts of the country. Some, like those loyal to former Vice President Riek Machar, have spread as far as the Democratic Republic of Congo. In a surprise move, President Salva Kiir has offered amnesty to all groups fighting his government, including those based outside South Sudan. Well, the amnesty is expected to give them, you know, a leeway or a leverage of getting to um, containment areas without anybody attacking them. There is mixed reaction from Juba residents. If the government is sure that the MSC is the one that will bring peace, then they should also implement if they do it, because they should not just only say the MSC and later on they will not implement. That is the best thing that they're supposed to do. They should, they're supposed to stand firm with their decision, and that will be also our decision as a citizen, because we need peace. Whatever happiness the president gives, there is always acceptance by organized forces and people of South Sudan. So there is no any hidden agenda, uh, no any incident that has, any, has ever been reported before that if somebody has been given amnesty, a forgiven to come. He just come like a normal citizen, no restrictions, no any other questions. President Kiir spokesperson says the amnesty offer will expire next month once all opposition forces are assembled in camps. South Sudan's biggest challenge remains insecurity. President Kiir has previously offered amnesty to various groups, but it didn't help to end the violence in the country. Many analysts are doubtful whether this latest offer will have a different outcome. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.